This is a standard QWERTY keyboard, and it's what most of the world types on. However, I type on something very different. This keyboard is seemingly missing many keys, making you wonder where they are. The answer to that is quite simple. On a tiny keyboard, you need to use different layers to get full functionality, and I try to use as few as possible for simplicity. My code layer is activated by holding the first right thumb button and contains most of the missing keys. Then if I simply hold the next right thumb button, I will get numbers on home row with symbols above. Although most of the world uses QWERTY, I use an alternate layout that is more efficient and comfortable. Colmec results in much more efficient finger movement due to keeping the most common English letters on home row. Although not visible, my keyboards of course have common modifiers. Now what about tab or enter? Because of less movement with tiny keyboards, the likelihood of developing a repetitive strain injury is much lower. However, to further improve upon this, splitting the board in two or angling each half will also lead to health benefits. I will admit that tiny keyboards aren't for everyone, but for people like me that like to go to extremes, the learning curve may just be worth it.